I'm going to show you how to use the MUT email client to check and send email in the terminal. First, we'll look at how to install MUT, then we'll create a .mutrc file to configure our email credentials and other runtime configurations. We'll look at reading email, checking other folders, and even checking multiple email accounts. We'll also look at sending emails, including attachments. I'll be demonstrating this on the Dev Dungeon mainframe, which runs Debian Linux, but MUT will work across all platforms the same. You can have access to our Dev Dungeon mainframe by becoming a member of our virtual hackerspace at my.devdungeon.com. By becoming a member, you'll also get your own email address at devdungeon.com. So if you want to follow along exactly, you can become a member and use MUT on our Linux server to check your Dev Dungeon email account. However, you don't need a devdungeon.com email address or access to our server. You can run MUT on your local computer and check any typical email account. Let's look at how to install MUT. In Debian and most Linux distributions, you can use the system package manager. In Debian, that's sudo apt install MUT. In Windows, I recommend using WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux, and using Ubuntu to install and run MUT. In Mac, you can install it using Homebrew with brew install MUT. In the Dev Dungeon wiki page, I have instructions on how to install and how to build from source. With MUT installed, let's next create a .mutrc file in our home directory to store our configuration and email account information. We'll need to set our identity so it knows what name and from email address to use when we're sending email. Set from equals and then your email address and then on another line set real name equals and your name that you want to use. Next, let's set our SMTP credentials, which will allow us to send mail. If you only want to read email, you can leave these parts out. I'll add SMTP underscore URL equals SMTPS colon slash slash me at devdungeon.com. That's my username at the mail server, which is mail.devdungeon.com colon 465. If your server is not encrypted, you may just need SMTP at the front instead of SMTPS, and the port number may be different as well. 465 is a common port for encrypted SMTP, and port 25 is a standard for non-encrypted. If we wanted to, we could also set our password here with set SMTP underscore pass equals my secret password. Note, you don't have to put your password here, and I actually recommend that you don't. You can omit this password value, and it will ask you to enter the password whenever it's needed. I'll comment out the password line. When sending an email, you'll need an editor to use when writing the email. We can specify our editor of choice with set editor equals vim, or your favorite editor. Next, let's set the credentials for reading email. I'll demonstrate using IMAP. Start with your email or username. Set IMAP underscore user equals me at devdungeon.com. Then, like SMTP, we have the option to provide our password here. We could say set IMAP underscore pass equals my secret password, but I'm going to comment this out and leave it out so it'll ask me for the password at runtime. Next, we set the server information. I'll add set folder equals IMAPS colon slash slash mail dot dev dungeon dot com colon 993. Again, your protocol may be different. It may just be IMAP without the S, and the port number might be different depending on your email host. So check with your email provider. Next, we'll need to specify the main inbox folder where the emails live on the server. By default, with many providers, it's plus inbox. So you'd say set spool file equals plus inbox. If you have multiple folders, you can have MUT automatically fetch the list of folders from the server with set IMAP underscore check underscore subscribed equals yes. Then optionally, we can turn on the sidebar with set sidebar underscore visible equals yes. We don't need any more right now in our MUT RC file, so let's save it and try to start using MUT. Let's start with sending an email. You can use the command line interface to initiate a new email with MUT dash S for subject, test email, and then the recipient's email address. I'll just email myself, nanodano at devdungeon.com. 
Then we type up our email and save it and send it when we're done. If you want to send an email with attachment, you can do it the same way, but add a dash A and the file name. For example, mut dash S, test email, and then the recipient's email address, and then dash A, file.zip, or whatever file you want to attach. Another way to send email is from within MUT. If you run MUT, you'll see some key binds listed at the top. You can see the letter M is the shortcut for mailing. If I press M down at the bottom, you'll see it's asking for the to address, and it will ask me for the subject as well. So I'll just send an email to myself. Then it drops me into my editor where I write the email. When I'm done with the email, I'll just save the file and exit. Then I'm dropped back into MUT with all the email details. From here, use the keybinds at the top to modify any parts of the email you need to. Press A if you want to add an attachment and then type in the file name. For example, here I'll attach my MUTRC file from my home directory. And then I could press Y to send, or if I want to save the email as a draft and not send it yet, I can postpone it. Press Q to abort, and at the bottom, it will ask you if you want to postpone the message. If you choose yes and postpone, you can quit MUT and then start it again later, and the mail will still be there. Press M to start a new mail, and then down at the bottom, it will ask you if you want to recall the postponed message. And there it is. Now I could press Y to send. Now that we know how to send email, let's look at how to read email. When you load up MUT, it automatically tries to fetch your email. You may need to enter your password if you omitted it from the config file. You can use Vimlite keys to move around with J and K moving you up and down. Spacebar will open an email for reading, and you can press R to reply, or you can press Q to go back to the mailbox listing. To mark an email for deletion, press D. You'll notice lots of letters here next to the email subjects. If there's no letters at all next to the email, that means the email has been read. O means the email has not been opened yet. R means the email has been replied to. And D means that the email is marked for deletion. N means it's new since the last time you checked your mail. If you have other folders to check, press Y and you can choose which folders you want to read. One thing to note about security is that by default on a shared server, your home directory is readable to others. This is especially why you don't want to put your password in your MUT RC file. You could tighten the permissions of the RC file so you're the only one who can see it, but in general, it's better just not to put your password in files. Also, your postponed and sent emails are also stored in your home folder. If I list my home directory, I can see that the sent and postponed files are set to be readable only by the user, which is good. Make sure you don't loosen those permissions. The MUTRC is still readable by everyone though. So let's lock that down with chmod600.mutrc. Now, if I list again, you'll see it's only readable and writable by the user, yourself, me in this case, which is what you want. If you want to check multiple email accounts, you have to take some additional steps. One way to do this is to simply copy your MUTRC file to a second config file, and then modify that second file with the different email address and setup that you want. To run MUT using that configuration, run MUT dash capital F, and then the path to the MUTRC file. You could make an alias for loading MUT with the different configs, for example, I can alias check email one to mutt-f muttrc, and then I can alias check email two to mutt-f muttrc2. Then I can run check email one for my first account or check email two to check my other account. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. A fancier way of choosing which email to check is by using the dialog tool. This is a separate terminal tool unrelated to MUT, but you can use it to choose which email account you want to check in a convenient menu. To download this dialog script, as well as my example MUTRC file, visit the MUT page in Dev Dungeon Wiki. The link is in the description. Here, you can also download the script and modify it to your needs. 
One last thing I want to show you is how to sort your emails. If you're in Mutt looking at your list of emails, you can run colon set sort equals reverse last date received. And there's other methods to sort as well. This will update your config and it will sort them with the newest at the top. If you want this to be your default sort method all the time, update your Mutt RC file and add the line set sort equals reverse last date received. In the RC file, you don't put the colon in the front of the line. MUT also supports PGP or GPG encryption and signing, but I won't get into that here. I only wanted to mention that it's possible. I do have a GPG tutorial if you want to learn the basics of how it works before trying to use it with MUT. To learn how to use GPG with MUT, consult the official documentation. For full and up-to-date documentation on MUT, always refer to the official website, mutt.org. Before you go, check out some of my products and services. Register and join our virtual hackerspace to get your own email account at devdungeon.com, a chat account, and SSH access to our Linux mainframe, which includes personal web space, Git storage, and other member-only perks. Join at my.devdungeon.com. Take my courses, working with binary data in Python 3, and deploy Django on Linux. Visit devdungeon.com slash courses. Buy my book, Security with Go. Visit devdungeon.com slash books. If you use Discord, Kathy is a fun chatbot for your server. Visit kathy.devdungeon.com. If you have a website, sign up with Apora to get notified if your site goes down. Visit apora.net. Bookmark devdungeon.com for reference and learning. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash devdungeon. Donate directly via PayPal at devdungeon.com slash donate.